Streaming giant Netflix reports after the bell amid this Hollywood strike and a crackdown on password sharing. But our guest says Netflix is still the only profitable streaming company. There's a lot of work left to do for its other rivals. Jamie Lumley joins us now, senior analyst at Third Bridge. Jamie, thanks very much for coming on the show. What should investors bear in mind about Netflix? It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So as we look at Netflix, there are a couple of really key areas to think about as we head into earnings later today. First, of course, is that subscriber growth number. If we look at what Netflix was able to do in the second quarter of this year, there's a lot of optimism around what they're going to be able to do now after the crackdown on password sharing continues. Um, and they really start to hopefully continue to build momentum in the rollout internationally. The other big thing to look at is what's going to happen with the pricing. There were the reports earlier this month that once the actor strike in the U.S. has uh, concluded, that Netflix is considering raising prices. And this is another piece which could drive overall revenue, profitability, but does have some people on edge to see what that impact could be ultimately to subscriber churn. One last key area is also just around content spend. With production having been halted this summer, there have been some of those short-term windfalls in terms of capital not spent on that production. But how Netflix will be thinking about this as we head into 2024 and what that process is going to look like as final seasons of Stranger Things and other shows start to get going again, how they're thinking about content and what they're really thinking about for investment there will really shape the business for the next few years. So you mentioned Stranger Things. Do they have any fresh mega hits to drive excitement? So it's interesting because we think about the last few months, there has definitely been that impact from the actors and the writer strike, which was just, just concluded about a month ago. So it's a little less certain about what that pipeline looks like from here. Uh, there's been production halted and some of the big sequels and follow-up seasons to major shows. Um, but there have also been some new hits. I think about this fall season. There's been uh, the fall of the House of Usher, which has been in Netflix's top 10 for a couple months at this point. There is still definitely that creative uh, ambitions which the company has, and they've really been delivering on that on some of their new programming. However, you know, viewers will definitely be looking towards the next year thinking, what is that next big show going to be? Because those new shows are what pe keep people coming to the platform and keep them on the platform. So as Netflix thinks about their velocity of content distribution, uh, next year is definitely big for keeping people with Netflix. I know Fall of the House of Usher apparently loosely based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe, but the boss of a corrupt drug company um, has a questionable past and his children start dying in mysterious ways. So pretty gothic, all right. Um, poor old Disney. I mean, if we look at the stock of Disney versus Netflix, uh, Disney has been an also ran. So if we look at Disney, there are a couple of important things to keep in mind. What we've been hearing from experts since the start of this year is that Disney is in a period of transition. You have Bob Iger stepping back into the CEO role at the end of last year. You have some major strategic decisions on the horizon when it comes to Hulu um, with the uh, option with Comcast to buy it outright, a possible integration of Hulu into the Disney Plus app, and then also ESPN eventually going into a full flagship streaming platform. There are a lot of moving pieces, and really Disney is trying to figure out what the best way is to move the business forward, while also at the same time not abandoning their legacy business aspects. If we think about the linear business, uh, their TV networks, this is still within the uh, entertainment distribution part of the company, a larger revenue driver than direct consumer. So making sure that those businesses are still healthy, um, giving them the resources that they need, while also continuing to prepare uh, for the future of those streaming businesses is a tough balancing act. So while Disney goes through this transition, um, there are definitely some things which can go right for the company. ESPN is one of the most well-known sports programming uh, platforms in the business, one of the uh, and most important uh, aspects of any cable bundle. So they still have the programming, they still have the content to be successful. Mm -hmm. It's just really a question of how they necessarily deliver on some of these major strategic changes. Do you think Disney would just ra radically retrench the streaming if it, if it goes on proving costly? 
So within streaming, it's definitely interesting because of course with that business, it's not just the revenue growth story, it's also the profitability push. So one of the major factors last year when we saw that CEO shakeup is the fact that the streaming business had lost a billion and a half dollars, give or take, and a quarter. And that has definitely been one of Bob Iger's top priorities going forward is minimizing those losses and really starting to make this a more viable, profitable business. What we've been hearing from our experts is that there's still definitely a lot of work to do on that profitability push. Late 2024 is quite ambitious. It could take until 2025 until that really is a profitable platform. But again, Disney has some world-class content. It has one aspect um, which other streaming platforms don't have quite as strongly, which really is that resonance with families and younger audiences. So if it can get the equation right on balancing out its content spend, its marketing, um, and continue to deliver successful content, then it can definitely get there. It just might take some time.